Hi everyone, it's Finita here. Today I have run paper towels in an embossing folder. I took four layers of paper towel and run it through in a flowery embossing folder and I will have that like a background on behind a floating frame it's inspired by Sam Calcott from Mixed Up Craft and the paper for the background and other stuff is from Crafts Consortium Fairy Wishes I found <laughs> This wooden butterfly in my stash from 2012 and I think I finally going to use it. I'm going to dress this butterfly with the beautiful paper. I usually say that about at least one of the papers in the collection from Cross Craft Consortium <laughs> that I want it for wallpaper and this is the one I just love it look it's beautiful so for that background I am going to have the red one and for the butterfly I flipped it over so it will be the pink and I will have the butterfly on the frame after we have glued it together I have prepared three of the frame pieces I would like to show you how I am making it it's four pieces for the frame that are two and a half by four and a half inches and you score on the short side an inch one one and a half and two and on two of them you flip it to the long side and score score at half an inch and four and flip it half an inch and four again on that side and then you cut off two of the corners on one of the side and then you cut up on the score line and out in an angle up to the second score line and I find it easier to flip it over again and cut up to the first score line and out again it was better for my hands and then on this side where you just cut the corners you cut off a little wedge on that side so it glue together better and here you will see And then you lay it down flat and fold that side over. Like so. And then you have the other side finished. And now I think it's better to... one at a time and it's good to have the grid behind so I can see so it's the right angle you put glue here and press it together Like so. 
so and then more glue in there and press and make sure it's I think it is. You almost need four hands for this. I think it will be okay when uh, you put it on the background. And then the last piece, put glue inside both sides there and and then. then for the background I first cut a piece of six by six in cardstock and then I cut a piece of six by six in the pattern paper and just glue on top and then I distressed the edges with the di distressing tool like so and then take the distress ink on a stain around the sides and the edges to make it a more interesting and then this will be on top and we can't forget the embossing piece and it will be like this and I think I will cut away a little bit just so it doesn't peek through the sides make sure you don't cut away too much I think I will yeah and then I think I will first glue on the back side just to make sure I get it on nicely and it's not out of the frame so that's good and then I will have more glue on the side to glue it down. I think I should have tape or something, but it's the first time I'm making this, so I think I will do the butterfly first, so I can see what I want to do. And and then I take the distress tool again. Just follow the edge of the butterfly to press it down.
mattress. It will be very nice to have just like this. So I guess it's finished with illustrations by Hells Kappelditch. I adore this. So thank you for today and uh, see you next time. Bye!